Alright, uh, welcome back to Life is Strange True Colors. Uh, last time we had a very intense episode. Uh, but we found out about Alex's incredibly tragic backstory. Like, Jesus Christ, that was hard to sit through. Um, but now, like, all we gotta do is get out of this freaking mine. We gotta, gotta go confront Jed. Spill oh, the beans. Wonder. Not that I'd be much good at climbing. Tell the truth. Yeah, there's no way you could climb with a, with a broken rib like this. Like, Mines growing into mines, just like Jed said. Hmm. So this is da this is down near where Gabe died, right? I think that's what Jed said. I'm gonna choose not to read anything into this. Oh, you poor thing. God. <laughs> Rats are cute. I'm sorry, they are. I, I could understand. I laugh if it wouldn't hurt so much. Oh God. <laughs> Like, I understand a lot of people are scared of rats, but I don't know. They're, they're cute little things. How long has this stuff been down here? Ah, oh, they have like the cigarette butts and everything. Oh, and I can't run. Of course I can't. Like, usually I think it would be kind of annoying, but it's it's kind of nice to have like storytelling and mechanics like that. Of course we can't run. Like, we're really badly injured. Kind of. Uh, like, remember that bit? Uh, okay, spoilers for The Last of Us, <laughs> but remember that bit where, like, Joel is impaled and, like, your controls are, like, fucked up, like, for a while? Or, or like, for the sequence of me doing- Oh, oh no. no. No, 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 come on, no, 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 no! Oh my god. <laughs> oh shit, what do we do now? Guess we follow the instructions on the matchbox, right? We gotta feel our way out if we like. We we'll have to feel our way out if we need to. I've got a choice. Oh. Wait, is okay. that? That's something. Is that? Anger? Like, is is that an aura? It looks like it, right? I think it's that same orange blue. That aura. Is okay, the it is. Lead I've got. Well, I guess we follow the anger then, huh? Are you hearing this music? Like this sound design? That is so creepy. That's like got that like faint echo on it. All right, boys, getting close. Oh. Held average for life, huh, Jed? Dig so deep, we see where the devil sleeps. Goddamn right. This is it. This is what Typhon tried to bury. Oh, wait, no, we're near the site of the mine collapse, right? A lot of runoff moisture in this soil. Jed, we gotta call it. This dig is fucked. Nothing's fucked. Jed, we got no pumps running. No, my teams have never quit a dick this deep before. Is that water? We finish the job. Oh, did you? Oh, no. Steady okay. goes. Steady. Fuck, what's... Move! Come on! Clear the Oh, tunnel. so Jed caused the accident. He proceeded with an unsafe dig. Jed! Fuck! Jed! Jed! Wow. Jed. So that, gotta move the whole now. hero thing is bullshit. There's still men back there. They'll drown. Yeah, and so will we if we don't get the fuck out. Make the call, Jed. God damn it. God damn it. Everyone, let's go. Now. Wow. I can't imagine anything more scary than like being trapped in a tunnel and just like being fireworks. filled with water. Like must be where Typhon blew the charges. So Typhon was trying to bury evidence of this, of Jed's negligence. I'm guessing? And th to do that, that was when they set off the blast that killed Gabe. So that's why they were trying so hard to bury the evidence that they were willing to risk the life of a child as far as they knew. Wow. I mean, I'm not surprised, like, slimy as... Ass... What? 
How? What? Dad. How? Huh? How the fuck did that get down here? Wait. Dad! Come back! Oh my god. Dad, you son of a bitch! Oh my Jed, god. You gotta stop, man. Dad! Fuck you, Jed! Come back! That's why he never replied to any of the it's letters. Over, he might have done. He's not but... back. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. That's right, because Gabe came here to find John, right? Like, he, he came here looking for his dad. Like, oh my god. Because remember that crack in the wall? He was looking for his dad. And, like, the paper trail ended. Like, it didn't go any further. That's why. Because Typhon destroyed the evidence of this. Oh my god. That is insane. Oh man, this is where we were looking for Ethan, right? It's come, like, completely full circle. <laughs> Take that shit down, man. Your facade is over. <laughs> Yeah. Fuck that. Oh, oh, he's fucked. Oh, they're fucked. Ah, oh, it's difficult though because if we really can't submit that USB drive, like this, this power, like Alex being like, you know, she says like, oh, I can sense auras, and I said like, that's not going to be counted as evidence, right? Like this, like you couldn't say that in court. Like, oh, I just feel it, right? Like even though, like as a player we know that that is the case, like, there's no way, like... Although maybe now that we've taken away... Uh, maybe since we took away Pike's fear... Then, like, he'll be willing to show the US... I don't know. And, during my time here... I've come to realize what makes Haven so special. It's a flower shop, run by multiple generations. A bar owner? who greets every customer by name. Shut the fuck up. It's a spring festival tradition going back a hundred years. History, loyalty, pride. These values which define Haven are the same values that Typhon was built on. And that <sighs> is why our partnership has been so successful. This is like professionally trained it's been PR my speech. Privilege to renew Typhon's commitment to Haven. We believe in this community and we're tremendously excited for its future. Thank you, Diane. I think I speak for all of us when I say we're eager to make this official. So, time to vote, folks. And then lunch. Oh. <laughs> You're fucked. You're both fucked. Yeah, he's like, what? I would be, I would be amazed here. I still don't know how the fuck we survived that. Oh, we mean business. Alex. Oh my God. I'm fine. You are not fine. We have to get you to a doctor. What happened to you? I mean, it'd be half the not to believe us. Look at, look, like, look at us. Like how injured we are. How could they not believe us? Hmm. This will be hard to hear. I found out something you need to hear. I'm sorry. Oh, that's right. Jed's Ryan's what? dad. Oh, God. Alex, you're hurt. That's gonna be so hard. Like... Do you need help? We can call an ambulance. Typhon's been lying to all of you. 
And so has Jed Lucan. Alex, what's going on? Oh, don't give me that shit. Come on, man. You know exactly what's going on. Don't look at me all like innocent like that. I was down in the mine last night. I saw what Typhon's been hiding for 12 years. Jed Lucan isn't a hero. That whole story is a lie. Jed caused the accident. And then he abandoned seven of his men. He let them drown to save himself. And then Typhon pried into his secrecy with the Black Lantern. There were pictures of me and Gabe down there in the dirt. Because one of those miners was my father. Oh, gee, wait, what deal did they make? Because it said they gave me a deal to give my boy a normal life to save my task. It wasn't just the land. Typhon wanted to keep this covered up. In case it jeopardized the vote. But I'm sure a big part of it for him was avoiding consequence also. What a slimy little weasel. They're afraid. They're cowards. Like... Everyone at that company is scared to death. All they do is protect themselves. No accountability So they whatsoever. decided to bury the evidence. Mm -hmm. And nothing was going to stop that blast. Not even the fact that there were four people up in the mountains. That's how Gabe was killed. Jed knew all along. He covered up the truth about the past, about Gabe. And when I found out, as you can see, he tried to kill me too. Oh, but the whole town's so attached to Jed, though. He was like the town dad, right? Like, how are they going to take this? And like Ryan, too, because like he had a big thing about trying to live up Why to the hero story, right? Why are you saying anything? This could be like a real identity crisis for him. We don't want to embarrass you, Alex. Oh my god, do they all know? Wait. Don't tell me they all know. I'm not embarrassed. Try me. These accusations are... Well, they're insane. And trying to go into the mine was... Obviously, a very dangerous, very illegal thing to do. Oh my fucking god, she's so good at manipulating. But we all sympathize with your situation. You've been through so much. Oh shit! Your brother mm. was your only family, wasn't he? Shut up with this I faux can only sympathy. Imagine how much you want an explanation for his loss. Wow, she's weaponizing like and make your life seem less unfair. She is so manipulative. Oh my god. You know there's proof of the cover-up. You had Pike arrest me to suppress the evidence. Officer Pike arrested you for stealing items from my purse. What Perhaps a piece of shit. you were looking for evidence? And I found it. Which is why you and Jed tried to threaten me into silence. Exactly. You know we've got you. Do you have any idea what Alex is talking about? No. I don't. I've tried to be there for Alex since Gabe died. The gaslighting. I, thought, I don't know. I hoped I could be something of a father figure to her. Shut the fuck up. Oh All I can my guess God. is, sometimes when we're hurting, the people we lash out at are the ones who are trying to help. What a piece of shit. Oh, 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 oh we're taking you the fuck down. You tried to kill me. How can you stand there and say these things? Alex. You're a monster. Please. Oh. I know this is hard to accept. I mean, look at her. Like, why would she be lying? I did too. But I'm telling the truth. I believe you. Yes, Steph. Of course I do. What a legend. Always a supportive one. I I love Steph so much. I believe you too. Yeah, Charlotte. I'm horrified and shocked and still processing everything, but I believe you. Okay, so they didn't all know. Thank fuck. That would have been so brutal. I would like to speak. 
This young lady came to Haven as a stranger, but over the last few weeks, she's become one of us. Now, her story certainly seems unlikely, if not impossible. But she deserves at least an investigation of her claims. That's all I want, Ducky. That's all we need. We ought to take her seriously. Come on, Pike. Come on, man. You have all the evidence. Come on. I agree with Ducky. Yes, Eleanor. I've always found Alex to be a very trustworthy person. Oh, wait. Would she not believe us she if, wouldn't if make we leaked these her secret? accusations lightly. Something must have happened. That's what Ms. that Lake, line suggests to no me. There's no actual evidence of anything. Yes, there is. Maybe not, but that's what I think. Yes, there is. Come on, Pike. Come on, buddy. Come through. Actually, Diane? Yes! There is evidence. Yes! Oh, yes! For fuck's sake. You're fucked, Diane. A USB stick full of recordings. Yes. yes. We went through this yesterday. Your superiors closed the case. None of us have time for conspiracies. <laughs> yeah. You're fu She's panicking so hard. Easy way out of things again, huh? I know your game. I know Don't how you test me, Jason. <laughs> you know what? I'm not scared of you anymore. Yeah, if we hadn't taken this fear, he might you? not be doing this. Not Typhon. All right, that's enough. Deputy Pike, do you have some kind of personal issue with me? Like hell, I do. Jason. Well, given that your judgment in this matter is emotionally compromised, you should. Oh my God. She's it. still trying to go for the manipulation. God, this has to be so hard for Ryan, though. Like. Let's not put pressure on him. I'm really sorry. We're all getting ahead of ourselves. And what's the important matter here? Not your lapdog anymore. I'm sorry, Alex. Oh, does he not believe us? I mean, understandable. Like, Jed is his dad. He does have the most, like... Oh, but come on, man. After everything we went through... Dad. Please. Come clean. Okay, no, he does. We'll figure it out together. It amazes me. The extent to which she has manipulated you. Projection. Come on, Dad. <sighs> Never in a million years. Come on. I hate seeing you do this. My own son. Dad. My own goddamn son! Stop. Oh, what? Ooh, what is going on? Oh, the colors, look. What is happening? I know why you tried to kill me. I love how everything's in black and white except that. It's them. not what you tell yourself. That you thought it was best for Haven. This was never about Haven at all, was it? This was about you. Exactly. I know it's easier. Not having to think about the men you buried. You want to look away and pretend the people you hurt aren't people. But I won't let you. Yeah, like, he couldn't face the guilt of what he did, so he's just completely no accountability, like... My father worked for you. His name was John. Such a human and realistic, like, flaw to have, even if it makes him a piece of shit. Like, I can see an actual person doing that. Uh, he was a screw-up, he was a fighter, he was a victim. Um, well, he definitely wasn't a fighter. When things got difficult, he up and bolted. <laughs> Uh, screw up seems a bit mean, given the set. We'll give it a victim. The world never gave a shit about him. He was always struggling just to get by. He still hoped one day things would be better. But you killed him. Oh, the red, the red. And then Gabe. 
My big brother. Oh, now she's gone blue. Look at what they're doing with the colors. This is so cool. <gasps> is she gonna, like... Remember at the beginning of the game, the power had complete control over her, like when she freaked out. Now she's got complete control over it. Is she, like, gonna use this to make Jed confess? I, like, I bet that's so cool. Uh... He was happy. You know, when we were kids, we goofed around to escape. To pretend everything was better for a little while. When I got to Haven, the first thing we did was dance around like total dorks. And it wasn't an escape from anything. He was happy for the first time in his life. But he died. Because of you. And then there's me. For so many years, I just wanted to survive. To get through. Haven changed me. I started to think about the future. Dude, the use of color here is so fucking cool. That, like, film nerd in me is, like, freaking out right now. <laughs> okay, um... I want to play music, I want to help people, I want to belong. Well... She... she does want to help people. I... I don't know if she... Like, she... It, it seems like she... she plays music and enjoys music more for therapy rather than performance, right? Like... With the, like, notes in her journal and everything, and, like, what, you know, like, or, like, how she writes lyrics in her journal, and, like, when she was, like, playing creep and whatnot, like, it feels like she uses it almost like a therapy exercise, like a creative outlet, more so than, like, she wants to be, like, a famous performer or something like that. And she, she does want to help people, but, like, as we've seen, that, like, sort of desperate, panicked drive to always help other people kind of doesn't come from a great place. And she definitely wants to belong. Like, after, like, you know, foster home to foster home, she's never had anywhere to belong. She's never had long-term people who care about it. And now she does. So, we'll go, we'll go with that. I want to belong somewhere. I want to know that there's a place and a group of people who wouldn't be the same without me. Mm. It's as much people caring about I'm you as it is, like... That here. Being able to impact other people, feel like their lives wouldn't be the same without you. It like it goes. It doesn't. You important, tried to murder me. You would have ended my life just so you wouldn't have to face the truth. Look at the facial capture. Look at him. We're like clearly getting to him. Oh, she's got the fear in her eyes, look, it. the purple. Haven't you? You've plastered over it with another story. You tell yourself you're a hero. A strong leader. Sometimes that means making hard choices. Decisions that could lead to people dying. A few men could handle that. Haven's lucky to have you. But that's the lie. If you scrape it away, what do we see? Hmm. You are, you are a pawn of Titan. Like, you are just a chess player, but seeing that kind of removes, like, it kind of removes, like, the big role he did play in it. Like, it, it wasn't even, like, the higher-ups of Typhon didn't even pressure him to continue with that unsafe dig. Like, he just, like, he made that choice himself. It almost reminds me of, uh, <laughs> you know, the scene in Chernobyl where, uh, Paul Ritter's, you know, like, not great at trouble, continue, you know, like, Jed, to his, like, minors almost reminds me of that. And, like, clearly, uh, Dyatlov, or, or whatever his name was, like, was responsible, right? So I don't want to just say you're born. Uh... Let's go with your card. Eleven years ago, 
you led a group of men to their deaths. And you couldn't even say those words out loud. Because oh yeah, he's coward. trying to distance himself, look. Like... You couldn't imagine saying it to your wife. We're getting to him. It's working. Saying it in front of your son. We're breaking down the walls. Oh, this is really cool. Every day you were brave enough to go underground and look death in the eye. But you couldn't muster the courage to admit a mistake. Then look away, buddy. I can feel you trying to pull away. Yep, there it is. Don't. The truth hurts. Sometimes it's so awful you think you're gonna break. But when you come out the other side, and you're whole and free and still alive, then you'll finally know how strong you really are. I love the intense close-ups. the truth about you. Oh, the anger, the anger. You hate yourself. You hate what you did in the past. You hate what you've done to keep it secret. And the more you deny that hatred, the worse it grows. And the less likely he is to be able to like face it and take accountability, right? I know who you are. I've seen the worst parts of you. Oh, um... How could, how could we forgive this dude? H how? Like, he's directly responsible for the, for the death of, um... Like, even if we, you know, even if our dad was a shit dad, he's still directly responsible for his death. And he's indirectly responsible for the death of our brother, too. Alex has the right to to be mad at him. She doesn't have to forgive him at all. And like, hmm. Okay, whatever we answer here, we answer for Alex, not Jed, right? Like, we don't forgive Jed because he deserves forgiveness. We would forgive Jed if it was mentally healthier for Alex. But I don't see why we can't condemn his actions and and like. How exactly would being angry at him, like, we had the right to be angry at him, right? Like... I don't see how we could forgive him. Yeah. And I condemn you. Got him. <laughs> That's it, the walls are gone now. <laughs> That was an insane scene. That was so crazy. And I bet, like... I'm remembering, like... You remember at the wake? Jed was the one who immediately was like... Oh, that what happened to Gabe was a tragic accident, right? Like, he said that immediately. And then when Ryan started being like, it wasn't an accident, Jed tried to shut him down. Until Ryan started pinning it on Mac, and then all of a sudden Jed was like, oh... I'd like to hear what, what your take on that is, Mac. Like, I bet if you go back and watch it, like, off the top of my head, I can remember that. I bet if you go back and watch Jed, there's, like, so much. I bet there's a lot there. Oh, and he stopped Steph telling the hero story, too, right? Like, when we were at the jukebox? Wow. I don't usually have this good a memory, by the way. Like... I've rewatched a few of the earlier episodes, just like make sure the audio was okay and whatnot. And I played around a bit in editing stuff there too. But on the type and mining scandal that has rocked the western slope town of Haven Springs, where a council meeting was the scene for shocking revelations. Local bar owner and council president Jed Lucan admitted in a tearful confession to covering up the deaths of seven Typhon employees as their manager twelve years ago. A recent cover up which involved a clandestine and unpermitted explosion to thwart inspections, caused the death of Haven local Gabe Chen last month. Mr. Lucan is currently in police custody, awaiting arraignment. 
We will have plenty more about this developing story, including the resignation of Typhon CEO, the Ah, yeah, fuck you. It all means for your drive time commute. Oh, don't throw shoo shoo. That, I mean, that was a nice throw, but... Shoo shoo. Yeah. The silence is worse. I need to get some air. Mm, gotta go to the rooftop, huh? Oh, we must have so many After messages. After summoning all my strength and willpower, I'm now ready to move from the bed to the rooftop. Can I pick up Shoo Shoo again? I feel bad. Shoo Shoo? No? Okay. Alright. <clears throat> I've got some continued support for you. We at Typhoon Money would like to express our gratitude towards Haven Springs for your continued support. Oh, shut up. We issued a statement which is available for you to read on our website. Who are the two likes? That, like, Diane and Lena? Or, like... Hey Haven, the Record Traders is currently accepting applications. What? Oh, that's right! Oh, in all the craziness, I forgot about that. Shoot! Priority will be shown to applicants with previous retail slash broadcast experience. Fill out an application on our website. We'll be conducting interviews next week. Dope. Uh, okay, so I'm deaf applying if you're hiring 16 year olds, lol. But, um, is there like a sudden opening? Who left? Nobody just yet, but to be honest, I'm kinda eyeing the exits, looking for new adventures. Mm. Oh, jeez. I'll miss you. Back at you, kiddo. Why? Like, what? Do I need a Charlotte Harmon portrait? I kinda think I need a Charlotte Harmon portrait. We should, we should definitely get a Charlotte Harmon portrait. Uh, hello friends. I've decided to open back up to commissions. I think we're all looking for ways to stay busy right now, and making art has always been my favorite method. So please get in touch if you want a portrait. I try to keep my rates reasonable and I offer a discount for first time commissions. Uh, awesome news. Should we call the shop? That works fine. Uh... The phrase, recent events, is doing some work in this post. Due to recent events- yep. Yeah. <laughs> the Black Lantern will remain closed to regular business until further notice. Yeah, who's gonna run the Lantern now? Like, Ryan, maybe? That is assuming he even wants to. Like... Uh... It never ends. A statement regarding the ongoing investigation in Haven Springs. We appreciate the company, uh, the company, <laughs> the community's concerns. Details are still emerging and we are cooperating with the state police. We currently have exactly as much information as any of you. Addendum. State police have tapped Deputy Jason Pike to provide assistance in this case and as such, management of this account has been handed over to another, another deputy. While we acknowledge that Deputy Pike has come to occupy a special role in the Haven Springs community, we urge you to direct all inquiries to the official channels. Uh, I just don't understand how all of this could happen under your noses. What is going on over there? This is not an acceptable statement. Nothing but respect for our boys in blue. Singular boy in beige who danced the Typhon's tune. There is no way the cops didn't know. There's something they're not telling us. Follow the money. Drop your tinfoil hat, you loon. Again, it, this is like the comment section like any Facebook post. Um, hello neighbors. Thank you for making last night's Spring Festival such a resounding success. Now comes another annual tradition, cleaning up after ourselves. I'll need a few volunteers to help me spruce up the park in the wake of last night's festivities. Work begins as soon as today's council meeting concludes. Drop your name in the hat. Sure, why not? I'm Dan. We're pretty hungover, but Jesse and I might be recovered by this afternoon. Tentative, yes? Take care of you first, but if you're feeling up to it, we'd love to have you both. Gotta open the bar. Sorry, darling. Oh, psh. Oh, wow. Okay, so that must have been posted, like, whilst we were in the mine. Um. The Black Lantern will not be open for lunch today on account of the town council vote. We'll see you for happy hour. Yes on jobs. Yes on prosperity. Yes on expansion. You do realize that expanding mining operations outside of Haven is a temporary fix, right? That's not even considering the environmental impact. Do you have any proof? Why do you want a bibliography? I don't keep citations at the ready on the off chance I encounter someone who isn't willing to accept the truth. That's what I thought. Oh, God. Social media, everybody. Oh, my fucking God. There are so many posts. Okay, I'm so wrong. sorry. I worried you all. Hey, anybody seen Alex today? We agreed to meet up last night, but then she ghosted. Super not like her. Kind of freaking out. I mean, looking at her history, she just goes to the fair amount of times, but I don't know. Uh, oh no, have you contacted Jason? Call to cell. No response. I'll try 911 next. That's troubling. Haven't seen her. Keep me posted with- Oh, shut the fuck up, man. Jesus Christ. So two-faced. 
He didn't even have I to bet reply. Steph but... wishes she could reword that. But it's pretty funny. Hello. As many of you know, I'm a freelancer for the Rocky Mountain Gazette. I'm writing an article about the scene's incredible performance at the Spring Festival, but I can't check down the band's name. Anybody know? Hey man. So we aren't like a band as such, so we don't really have a name. Yet. Hey, no worries. Can I get your names for the article? I'm Steph Gingrich, the brains of the operation. My muscle is Alex. Lol, well, she's gonna die when she sees this. <laughs> oh man. Uh alright, last one. What a wonderful spring festival. Thanks to everyone who made it such a beautiful celebration. Now spill the beans, who got a rose? I know someone who might have gotten one. Wink. I think I might know someone who got one as well. Wink, wink, wink. Aw. <sighs> Hang in there, bud. Can we break for someone else? I don't see why not. As long as that someone has given their permission. Hey, Steph, do I have permission to brag about the rose you got last night from your crush? <laughs> Lol, come on, man. <laughs> I love how not jealous he is. Like, it did seem like he kind of had a crush at some point, but like now that we're together, Steph, he's like, yeah, you know, like he's completely accepting. It's awesome. Oh, holy fucking shit. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright. Uh, we've been going for 35 minutes. Uh, I'm gonna stop here, and we're gonna start next episode by reading the text. Okay. That was really intense. I'm glad we got him. Uh, yeah. I'll see you next time on Life Has Changed Two Colors.